Hello everyone, Lila here. Welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, we will be watching episodes two and three of Fallout. I don't even know what to forecast for the rest of this series. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. After watching the first episode, I don't even know where my mind's gone. But that was a lot of chaos and creepiness and freakiness. I feel like I've just made up a couple of new words there. I don't care, Lila Bocab in the dictionary. I feel like the only thing right now in this series that would absolutely kill me is watching the father, the daughter, what's her name? Lucy, <laughs> good start. Or the brother, if something happens to either of those three, the waterworks are gonna come out. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I don't really care about anyone else in the series right now, apart from those three, because I feel like they emphasize the bond between them all in the first episode, so something's gonna happen. I feel like to the dad. Sorry, I feel like to the dad. <laughs> but I don't even wanna come to any conclusions as of yet. I feel like I've at least gotta watch the next two episodes before I begin to forecast anything. So without further ado, let's jump straight into watching episodes two and three of Fallout. <laughs> No, no! No, we can't start off this episode like this. Um, I mean, I know we kind of need this for backstory, but... Process and training around this. If I was a dog, I would be food orientated, not toy orientated. You've got the two different types of dogs. If you've got a dog, is yours more food orientated or toy orientated? <laughs> I'm intrigued. My dog's definitely food orientated. <laughs> like me. Oh! Ooh! Oh! Oh, that makes me cringe. Oh, the way the dog just cares. Oh no, he's gonna get killed right in front of the dog. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, here we go. Oh. oh, the sound effects. He's like, don't worry, I got you. This is the sole reason I don't put eye makeup underneath my eyes. I'm clever sometimes, I tell you. Please remain calm. Uh, yeah, remain calm. If something happens to the dog, I am literally gonna punch my screen. I do love what they do with the font. Nice little intro. Hm. Here's Lucy. The way I almost forgot her name as well. It's crazy. I literally only watched episode one literally about a week ago. That's crazy. Imagine walking into that. Imagine these people just having a lovely cup of tea. That's it, gone. I felt like Lucy would go very far in this series though. I don't know. She's given me final girl energy. Something's gonna happen. Uh. Imagine I kind of just sat chilling there after you've woken up from a nap. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sir, I'm looking for my father. You need to go home, miss. The amount of people. All dwellers are an endangered species here. You would be willing to do what it takes to survive up here. Oh, the amount of people that are going to tell her the same thing and it's going to get me creeped the hell out. I'm not going back without my dad. Then you will have to adapt. Okay, sir. Bloody hell. Will you still want the same things when you have become a different animal altogether? Imagine hearing that in the middle of the night. I don't even know what bloody time it is. Who are you? And the way he just walks off, he's like, I tried to help you and you're not gonna take my advice or I'm out. I'm not wasting my time. <laughs> the eye contact. You went with the tempered lining? 
On the T60? Yeah, the T60. Uh-huh. Huh. huh. As if we've got his nasty little jobs. I feel like Maximus is going to be in one of those suits. I thought that was Maximus then. I was like, the way he just chucks him out. Crazy. He's not. No, he's not. I mean, I guess partially consider her. <laughs> Oh, please. Why do I feel like the dog's not going to come out alive or come out altogether? Right. He's like, you want this for food? Hmm. I don't know about that doggo. They were here, a man and a dog. The target. Hmm. Were... Yep, something happened to them. Bloody like Iron Man go in there. I mean, I know we're working as a team, but. <laughs> go see if the target's in there. Wow. My, my lord, I, I don't have armor. I'm thinking the same thing. You are in a suit through acts of bravery. This is an act of bravery. Right. In order, my squire. Does he want him to get killed? Do you know what? I generally am starting to think this was all part of the plan, you know? Behind you, dipshit. Oh no. I bet you went in there now, huh? Armor man. Not the f <laughs> Why do I find this funny? Oh no. The worst thing is I wouldn't have found it amusing if it was Maximus, but this guy was talking too much. I bet he's still gonna have some snide comment. Fuck! Where were you? This wasteland fucking sucks! Maybe just to thank you? You stupid motherfucker, you know this is all your fault. Oh! Don't even help him. I'm sorry. It is a knight's duty to better this fallen world. You don't deserve that armor. Oh, he's gonna take it! They'll kill you for this. Not if I bring back the target. Oh! oh. I mean, fair play. I don't blame him. That's it. Step on right in there. Wow. Well, I don't feel like he's gonna do good in this suit though. Like he's not gonna be like a freaking annoying person like the other guy. I feel like he's actually gonna do good and actually try and help people. Maybe he helps Lucy. No. <laughs> Philly, where is dangerous? I feel like everywhere is dangerous. Hello there. No. I mean, that guy did say you have to adapt. Sometimes being nice won't get you anywhere. And that's sad because you really would wish or hope it does, but in some cases, it really doesn't. You see, I can imagine this in a game. I just love how she's the only one wearing slightly a bit of colour. <gasps> the ghoul. Meaning what you're capable of. Somewhat. I'm sure there's more to it. You have an assortment of vault tech equipment. It would be safe to assume that you do business with criminals. Imagine walking into it. <laughs> I'm actually looking for one criminal in particular. <laughs> Not the laugh. Goes by the name of Moldaver. Dun dun dun. You know what folks up here say about the vaults? What? Fuck the vault. <laughs> well, this went sideways. I love it how these characters are coming together. That's our CX 400. Have I got that right? <laughs> 
really think you should go home. You are not safe here. Stop saying it. You're creeping me out. I know you're trying to be good, but... I told you to get the fuck out of here. Oh, here goes the ghoul. Ugh, everyone knows what he's capable of. He's a local bloody celebrity. Or you wouldn't happen to be a doctor, would you? Because I happen to be looking for one. Ugh. You know your kind ain't welcome here. But I'm gonna make myself welcome. Oh, Key's got some comebacks, I'll give him that. On the head of a man that fits the description of that fellow right there. Mm-mm. But I've been paid a whole lot of caps to provide this man safe transport out of Philly. Oh, oh no, not the leg. Not the leg. I got a thousand bottle caps for whoever kills that fucker! I mean, I would be the same. I'd be like, I know you've given me a job, but if everyone else can help sort him out, that's great. I'll, I'll give you a prize. Oh. No. Oh. Oh. Ouch. Oh. No. I can't even show this on YouTube. Stop. <laughs> Don't even get up. I know you're in pain, but don't get up. Oh no, I'm scared for the dog. Don't. Don't. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, no. Oh my gosh. Not the dog. Whizzling, Wilzig, whatever your name is. I'm sad for you, but I'm more sad about the dog right now. I'm going to have to ask you to leave him alone. Oh no. You willingly stand down now. Oh, I mean fair play to her. She said stand down. No. Maximus, stop the way I just got goosebumps. Oh. Titus of the Brotherhood of Steel, stand down or be cut down. Oh. You gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> Oh, okay. Now we're talking. Go, 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 go. Oh, stop. She's in love. <gasps> is it going to be a love story? This is the person she was actually supposed to be with. Ouch. 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 Oh. No. No, no, no. She can take. <sighs> I need you to take this man here to my client. <laughs> I'm really only here to find my dad. <laughs> my client goes by the name of Lee Moldaver. No, she's playing us. She is playing us. You ain't getting near Moldaver without something to bargain with. And hmm, I don't know. Do you want your dad back or not, kid? <sighs> <sighs> she's gonna do it now, isn't she? Regardless of the outcome. Gosh, damn it, okay. <laughs> Not the way he's just flinging him. <laughs> no. Uh... You drive that thing like a fucking shopping cart. <laughs> Rule number one. Read the manual. Oh. <gasps> mm mm. What's he doing? What's he doing? No! <laughs> what is going on? Don't even do what I think you're gonna do. Oh. Well, I feel slightly better now. When I say slightly better, a lot better. I'm not going to make it. Mm. No, you see, I've just taken a cyanide pill. It's quick, painless. How am I gonna bring you if you're... You know, not, not my whole body. <sighs> Where is this going? Just my head. No. No. 
No, no, no. I'm sorry, this is next level now. It'll be easier if you carry my head. <laughs> Imagine someone's... You need to start acting like a surface dweller. I mean, this is a lot to take in right now. Yes, McLean. How do you know my name? Sir. Hmm. I'm sorry, we've got to walk 20 miles holding this guy's head and we have no idea what's on the other side. I can't trust anything. Ah, oh, let's just jump straight into the next episode before I think too much into this. <laughs> oh, the head's gone. She wasn't playing around here. She's like, right, if I've got to get my dad back, I'm cutting off his bloody head. Come on, let's go find the rest of him. When he says the rest of him, his head. It's the fact that this episode's actually called The Head. <laughs> Unique, right? Right. <laughs> it really is going to be about the head. Nothing else, nothing less. Or well, nothing more, nothing less. Maybe the I think if she had like carry a bag or something to just carry his head. Carry a bag is wild, Lila. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Just something... Like imagine someone just walking past. Excuse me, miss. Why have you got a head in your hand? More importantly, whiz, whizzling, whizzig, whizzig's head. Huh? <laughs> Maybe to keep you the extra one safe. What will I do? <laughs> Sorry. What am I watching? <laughs> I try to <laughs> Is that Huh? We were attacked. My squire, he fell in battle. He died with honor and glory. <laughs> Copy that, we'll get you a replacement squire. Right away. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll be right back. Is there any way for them to track it though? I mean, that might be a very silly question, but there must be a way, surely, within the suit. I can fix it. Cost you five caps. It's extra if you do it fast. <laughs> Step away from the armor. Get this shit out. Is this four against one? Uh... I was gonna say fair play to him, he's doing a good job on his own. Finders, keepers. Oh, this reminds me of when we got introduced to him. Oh no. Come on. Come on, Max. Come on, one by one. I'm messing around with the wrong person. That's one. And the next. Me about you, and the next. If they ask me, I get... <sighs> um, yeah, a little bit further in. Oh, it's gonna rip his head off. Right. Kind of saved you. Kind of saved you. All right, here we go. I'm sending them out. Is it who I think it is? He's gonna get into the armor and just disappear. Oh, bless him. I'm about to protect and serve you, whoever you deem fit. He's not gonna kill him. Arise, my square, and clean this. Oh. Look at all of this. There's always something. Can we not just have a cute moment for like a minute? Just a minute, that's all I ask. No! Uh, what the hell is that? Not that he's taken the... 
<laughs> Not the head. I'm really struggling to compute what I'm watching in this series, honestly. <laughs> Shouldn't even be funny, but it's the fact that head's just floating on top of the water. <laughs> oh, here he is. Where is it? Okay, I, I don't know where it is. Okay. You lost the head. <laughs> Ugh, lush. A girl put got it on. Huh? Yeah, is that what it's called? One of those. You left with a girl. How'd they get away? I was waylaid. A ghoul intervened. A ghoul? <laughs> if we find the ghoul, we find the target. You left the ghoul alive. <laughs> You've made it possible to trace the whereabouts of the of the target. Mm. Think this was him? <laughs> yeah, that's that's definitely him. Right. <laughs> Oh, I should not be watching this on a wee day. Yeah, that way, that way, mm -hmm. that way. I feel for that, Squire. I don't know how much weight one of those things are or feeling, but. Pff. Can you help me find him? He'll do whatever you want. No, he didn't. Torture is wrong. Well, I ain't torturing you, sweetheart. I'm using you as bait. Oh. Oh my gosh! That thing is disgusting! Oh, he gave you a run for your money. Oh! After all that, Sono head. Fuck! You can't treat people like this! Those gopers do just feel slow. It's when they end up working together. Y'all shall get sidetracked by bullshit every goddamn time. Ugh. Oh, wow. What we mean when we say we're going to build a better world. <laughs> Thanks, Reg. That is a positive spin to put on it. It's the gosh darn truth. Gosh darn. <laughs> right. <laughs> would be to rehabilitate the prisoners and then integrate them into our vault society. Um. Is there something you'd like to say, Norm? To be honest, I struggle to see hope. I know that's bad, but the series is really going in every single angle at this point. What do you propose we do? We can do what they would have done us. Oh, he is getting a voice now. Hmm. Murdering these prisoners of ours is not under serious consideration. Here, here. Not the butts in between. Okay. Uh that went well. <laughs> if your father were here, he, he'd do the right thing. Mm. No pressure. I'm not sure we're tracking the right abomination. It's the hat. You idiot. It was my mistake. Or that thing. What's it called? I forgot what it's called. Get back to shore. But sir. Go. Hmm. Huh. Like, what do you even do at this point? You're screwed. play <laughs> not the music <laughs> no I mean we might as well bloody get the hell at this point not the I am done with this episode, I'm sorry. <laughs> Imagine celebrating about having a head. Water, water everywhere and not a drop to drink. Is that what happened to you? Radiation? <sighs> Something like that. I feel like we've seen like a nice side of him. So I know deep down it's within him. Well, that's really me trying to think positive. This thing really block radiation? Absolutely. Hmm. Well, okay, here we go. Well, I'll bet you. <laughs> Not the pose. Coppola. Hmm. Hmm. What a way to end that episode. Okay. Well, that was very head orientated. 
I don't want any of you with dirty minds out there thinking of something else. Wizig's. Wizig? Wizig's head. I have never known, thought, forecasted a whole episode would be driven by a man's head. No. But they managed to cram 50 minutes of it in that episode. So I can only just clap for them on their behalf. I genuinely, still to this episode, have no idea what I'm watching. There are so many different elements to this. I feel like <laughs> it's one of those ones, once again, I'm gonna get my answers as these episodes go on, but there's just so much going on that I don't even know where to start to think. Do you ever have those situations? Because I'm currently in that situation right now. So once again, I'm not gonna make any forecast based on what I think is gonna happen. I feel like the ghoul still has a sweet side within him. And as much as he is playing with Lucy, I feel like those two are gonna become such a key part in this together. And of course, Maximus and Lucy, I have a lot of hope and faith in that little thing, but I'm super excited to see how, once again, all of these characters come together. And of course, our end point, Moldova. Moldova? You know what I'm trying to say. I'm not very good with names, let's be honest. None of you should even be surprised at this point. But I'm super excited, and I know you guys are too, because you guys gave me a lot of support in episode one, so thank you guys so much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!